Hey guys, the name is Chris Parocci. Welcome to Gear Corner. Let me show you six very important things about compressors. Before we get into it, two things. First of all, if you enjoy my videos, please hit subscribe and ring that bell. And also uh, the description box is full of very useful things. First and foremost, timestamps if you want to jump around in a video and also uh, gear infos and links and whatever. I will only use one specific compressor in this video for one good reason, that's the only compressor I have. <laughs> a pretty good one, by the way, the Wampler Mini Ego, which is pretty much the same as the normal big Ego compressor. It just has, instead of two extra knobs, it has two switches. And now on to the six important things I promised. The first thing is that a good compressor can make your really quiet tube amp sound pretty big. We all love, and most of us love uh, tube amps, I, I certainly do. And um, if you're using them without any attenuation, they're pretty loud, they're way too loud for at home. So what you're doing is turning it up to a point where it starts to sound all right and sort of hope that it's not too loud for everyone else around you. So that's a sound and it's good, but uh, what you really do not have is that sort of spongy power amp saturation or compression um, that you have when you turn up the same amp to a proper level. To demonstrate this, I have the volume on my Rev Dynamis head way down. Kudos to Rev, it still sounds good. It's a nice sound, but what it really doesn't have is that sort of a roundness. Number two, a compressor makes you fit in a mix way better. If you ever played in sort of a more modern band and you know you used some distortion, whatever, and then you swapped to the clean channel and had to play something, you know, a, a picking part or just something single notey, you sort of disappeared in the mix. I never enjoy playing clean in uh, rock bands because of that. And um, I started to develop something Instead of playing clean, I started to search for pedals and guitars, you know, modified guitars to uh, make the volume knob usable. And I stick to my gain sound and just turn down the volume for clean, which is also a very nice clean sound, but it's a different experience because it still sort of compresses a little bit. And that helped me fit in the mix better. And then when I finally went for it and uh, bought myself a compressor, this one, the, the Ego Mini, I uh, realized that it's possible to have a very uncompressed sounding clean sound on stage that's easy to use. Let's start without the compressor. Third awesome thing about compressors is that they make it way easier to play clean. They sort of, you know, make your sustain longer, obviously, and um, even out the crazy volume differences. You still have to pay attention to your dynamics, of course, because even though the volume is sort of pressed together, uh, the sound of that note will be just different. So uh, if you pop a string real hard, it has a sound. If you just strum it really subtle, you know, you have to still play properly. It just uh, makes it way nicer. It sort of feels like having a distortion on or like an overdrive without the overdrive.
Number four, if you have a compressor that has a blend or mix knob and a volume, obviously, you can use it as a clean boost, which is very nice. You know, sort of set the, the mix way back that it barely compresses and use the volume knob to, uh, to boost some dBs. And uh, it's very nice to, to use it as a sort of a, a volume jump, you know, like a, a sort of a solo uh, pedal. And of course, if you have an overdrive or distortion pedal or your amp distorting, after the compressor, you can uh, just push the gain a little further, which is also very nice. For this example, I have the blend knob pretty much on zero on the Mini Ego and uh, the volume is gunned. Here's my overdrive sound without the compressor on. And then the compressor set to a clean boost setting in front of that overdrive pedal. Number five, use your compressor to make your clean sound more exciting. You really don't have to compress the hell out of your guitar signal. Number six, this is the last one and the most fun thing about compressors. If you're using low gain overdrive and um, you don't want more distortion, but you kind of miss a little bit of that nice long sustain, a compressor on a mild setting will not mess with the uh, overdrive after it. So it will not change your sound a lot and it will definitely not give you more gain or anything. It will just help with those long sustained notes. It's a lot of fun. I've set my King of Tone overdrive on a very low gain setting and um, I'll play something without the compressor in front of it and then uh, show the same thing with the compressor. You can of course do the same thing with a higher gain sound. Just keep it in mind if you're using quite some gain and a compressor, you might have some uh, noise issues. These were just my six tips, things I've experienced or learned in the last couple of years. So uh, if I forgot something, just uh, let me know in the comment section. 
meet you down there. And also don't forget to subscribe and uh, ring that bell. We will see each other very soon. Take care. Bye.